Senor Cooler! You know, let's go to Fort Hope and talk to the zombies that we do know. Spirits, whatever. Where is Roger Embry? Where did you last see him? We wandered away from the path, down the hill from the fort. I remember he was holding this scabbard so that I could admire it, boasting about the quality of his rapier, saying it was a finer weapon than I'd ever own. Here are you, Mosman Ford. Recognize. <laughs> Sorry. I remember Roger Emery dropped it and the chafe broke off. I told him it was bad luck for it was a handsome scabbard. I found the scabbard shaped by the gate. I remember Isabel opened her hand and it fell to the ground. I told her to cheer up, for her father would be glad to see me. I wanted her to look at me, but she wouldn't. I wanted to see in her eyes. Okay, well, thanks, I guess. Oh, hello. Where's my father? I've never seen a shadow this close to the bell. That's weird. Where's my father? Where did you last see him? In a field. I remember him clutching the scabbard to him. I saw that it was damaged. He was whispering something, something important. Is this shape from his scabbard? Oh yeah, you bet it is. Then you are Isabel Emery? Yes. Well, I'm glad she's at peace. Where are my wife and daughter? What are their names? My wife's Philippa. Philippa. And Allison is my daughter. Who are you? I'm James Markley. Where did you last see Philippa? Remember I was walking across the yard after dusk. I heard her speak my name and I spun, startled. I saw her standing by the gate in the firelight. Where did you last see Allison? I remember her saying goodnight to me as I sat at my desk, writing an urgent letter. I could barely make her out of the doorway by the light of the lantern. She lingered for a moment, then disappeared into shadow? She was gone in the morning. She left a note saying she was going to find her sister. Simon Holt went with her. I sent Clement Wright and two others after them. The locket is inscribed with your wife's initials. It is hers. It was given to her as a gift by my late mother, God rest her. I found it near the remains of a woman who had been bound to a tree. I did? Then she is truly dead. I remember here hearing her speak my name as I walked across the yard after dusk. I stunned, startled, and saw her staying by the gate in the firelight. Didn't you already say this? She turned and walked into the night, but I did not follow, for I feared it could only be a phantom to come to lure me to my doom. Oh. Well. Bad luck there. You got nothing else to add. You are the only... I'm still seeing a shadow there. Or a wraith. Should be a wraith there. Why is there not a wraith there? Yeah, I, I gotta say, the the townsfolk, their stories are uh, are not giving me as much insight as to what's going on as I'd have hoped when I started this. When I started this game, I am almost out of arrows. Well, we'll be fine, right? I, I, I can do this. Fine. We'll be fine. What? What's the worst could happen? I could lose my ability to speak. Ah, I knew you'd be here. Hello, hello, hello. Isabel, is this your scabbard? Yes. Then you're Roger Emery. What happened? I remember she leaned close to me. She was crying. I told her to smile for me. I reached out to wipe away her tears. It took all my courage, all my strength. Oh. I found a woman's bloody scarf. Okay, let's go over here, because that's the only other shadow that's around. It's, so if that was... is If that was Isabel, this must be Allison. I don't actually care. I just, uh... Just want to get all the dead away. Put them to rest. Like this guy. Hello. My aim is shit. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh yeah, that was a that was a thing. Where is Tabitha? Who is Tabitha? I know who Tabitha is. My daughter. I was sitting beside the bedside. Allison was asleep already, but Tabitha seemed restless. I brushed the hair from her face and smiled at me. I hummed a lullaby. I had sung since they were both girls and since she was fast asleep. I suppose I nodded off sitting there, for I woke shivering in the dark, and I realized Tabitha was gone. We found no trace of her. The sentries swore they had not seen her, but her clothing was gone. 
My husband rode into the forest to search for her, but he could not find her. <laughs> Recognize this locket, you must be Philippa Markley. What happened? I remember telling my husband that I wanted to see Tabitha again. He said I was never coming home. He was no she, he said she was never coming home. That is it for the wraiths, and yet they're still showing up. The shadows. That is it for the shadows? Why is that it for the shadows? Do I have to revisit them? Hello? Gavna? Seems you have two daughters? Wait. What? I thought he said he had a wife and daughter. I did once, but Tabitha is not my daughter anymore. I cast her out from our family. Why? She ran off to the savages. Ah, oh, we had a we had a little reverse Pocahontas thing going on. Then that's why you said she wasn't coming home. Philippa confessed that she knew Tabitha was fond of a savage boy. That Tabitha had made a pennant from an arrowhead he had given her. That she sometimes left the fort with her without chaperone or escort. My wife had hidden these things from me. She had lied to me. I bound her to a tree deep in the forest where no one would hear her screaming when the beasts came for her. I told her that was the price of treason. Oh! You murdered your own daughter? You're a... You're a... You worship the Lord of Light, don't you? How come there's blood on ghosts? What about you, sir? Oswin, you got nothing. You're back, though. Your father remembers wiping away your tears. He told me to smile. He told me to be strong. I found this bloody scarf. I remember kneeling over him where he lay face down in the dirt. I pulled off my scarf and pressed it against the wound to try and stop the blood from spilling out of him. He was clutching his scabbard to him. I saw that it was down and the sword was still sheathed. He hadn't even drawn it. He was whispering something, something important. It was the name of his murderer. I begged him not to die, but he was already gone. After a time, I drew out his sword and walked up the path to the fort to kill Oswin Ford. Oswin, why'd you kill this guy again? Isabel, Emmy tried to kill you? She did. I remember the men pulling her away from me. The blade of the rapier had struck my belt, which spared me a more grievous wound, but the pain was still immense. Isabel cursed me as a murderer and a coward. I remember how I thrust my sword into Roger Emery's spine. He dropped his scabbard and the shape broke off. I told him it was bad luck for it was a handsome scabbard. Then I pulled my braid free and watched him drop to his knees. Why'd you do it again? I told him if you were... If you, if you mean to duel a man, you... I told him that if you mean to duel a man that you deem a coward and a cur, you should keep up your guard lest he should seek to give you a dishonorable death. Then I left him there and walked back to the fort. Isabel must have found him before he died. When I was kicked away from the stool, oh, he was—he was the guy who was hung. She was standing on the rope. She, she was standing on the rope, went taut, and she swung from the gate slowly, strangling. She opened her hand and shaped from her father, and the scabbard fell to the ground. I told her to cheer up, for her father would be glad to see her. I wanted her to look at me, but she wouldn't. I wanted to see it in her eyes. What were you doing? You're doing nasty stuff. Would everyone please stop murdering each other in the past? Well, okay. <clears throat> I don't know what sense any of that makes, but whatever. Do I really have to go back and talk to them again? Do you recognize the silver locket? Yes, it is my... What? Oh! Oh, shit! It's my mother's, I'm sure of it. Then you are Alison Markley, daughter of James and Philippa, sister of Tabitha. Okay, she's the daughter that didn't go out and flirt with the Indians or whatever. I remember now. Why couldn't I think of it before? Your father said that Tabitha ran off to the Indians. Tabitha was very taken with an Indian boy. She saw him snuck away to see him, but she always returned. You went into the woods to find your sister. I could feel that she was suffering, that she needed me. Nobody believed me. I begged my father to search for her again, to take me with him. He refused. I remember him sitting at his desk by faint lantern light, scribbling fiercely with a quill. I called goodnight from the doorway. 
He looked up to, at me, but I did not speak. I knew he was still angry that I had mentioned Tabitha, so I looked away and didn't look back. Your father killed your mother. That cannot be. She didn't tell him Tabitha was in love with an Indian. I didn't think she knew. I have a gift for you. This cameo pendant. The cameo is missing. Why are you giving it to me? It can be bought it. I do not like the idea of trading with someone's jewelry, but it can be of little value to its owner now. Um, the silver locket that belonged to your mother. It's a precious gift. You have my thanks. These iron shackles. Why are you giving me these horrid things? In case you need to shackle someone later, I thought we could play a game of rescue the princess. Oh my god. Everyone wearing a turn around. I thought we could play a game of rescue the princess. Maybe you'd first like to try a game of outrun the arrow. <laughs> oh, outrun the arrow is so fun. Skull ring. Why could it be? Uh, gold is beautiful like you. I care little for gold or flattery. You can keep both. <laughs> it's an ordinary handprint. Why are you giving it to me? Your hair is unkempt. I shall keep it to dream of a day where I care about such things again. <laughs> okay, wow, so. This flag is our family request. My father decided he would fly it wherever he was in residence, as the king does. I found the notion rather presumptuous. Learn the fate of a wraith. Quite a few of them. Oswin Ford cheated in a duel against Roger Emery to avenge his pride. How can a man avenge his pride by his soul? And it seems Isabel, your sister? Was Hang trying to kill Ford with her father's blade? Wait, no. Huh. Mixing these up. Though I pity her, it was foolish of her to think she would please her father by resorting to treachery when it was treachery that killed him. By the fate of a wraith. This arch had killed the man who killed his sister. Then he made himself a murderer to avenge murder. He prized his desire for vengeance above neighbor's desire for order and justice. Samuel Mallard blamed a crime he participated in on his captain, partly to avenge needless deaths of his comrades and partly to hide his own guilt. I would think that a man who finds himself regretting his own deeds would be forgiving of the mistakes of others. Charity Hammond allowed her maidservant to burn as a witch because her husband made her pregnant. Can it be that she thought two lives were a fair trade for her shame and sorrow? She was gravely mistaken. Okay! I am... I am... Extremely surprised. We know the identity of the red woman. Her name is Melisandre. <laughs> Alright, I will see you guys next time on Betrayer.